Hey guys, MechanicCG here and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport. Today is episode number 5. If you guys do enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. Right, so we're going to start off today with the, um, where is it? The Eclipse versus Integra. This is a tuna face-off. Um, and we are... Current car is not eligible, of course. Um, and we're actually going to take, I believe, the Honda Viz Racing Integra for this one. We took the Eclipse for the other event, so we're going to take the Integra. Um, starting off with Sunset Peninsula, uh, Blue Mountains Raceway, and then New York. So let's get going. Here we go. Sunset Peninsula. Let's try this again. Honestly, though, it makes no sense what I've done. Uh, I did not find out how much it uses, but I kind of assumed that it didn't use too much. Give me that feeling. Do it after this race, I will do. I'll have a look and see how much wattage it uses. Oh, we are miles ahead. Look at that. We got a nice lead here. A very nice lead. Here we go. Lap two. Going round and round in circles. Going round and round and round in circles. Ryzen 7... Oh, shit. Ryzen 7 3700X or Ryzen 9 5900X. That's not bad. That's a 16 core, I believe. I need to get a 64 gigabyte... Corsair kit for my PC just because I'm when it comes to editing stuff I've noticed it, it 16 gigabytes is not enough there we go six and a half grand gone up to uh, 116,000 and so far Blue Mountain Raceway the uh, worst track in this game hands down worst track don't come at me it is the worst Oh, lovely. I love playing games at 25 frames a second. Do you know, I, I really don't understand why this game, even on, like, Xbox OG hardware, ran at 25 frames a second. Because let's be honest, Gran Turismo 4 existed, that ran at 50, and that worked perfectly fine. Why would you want 250 FPS in Cold War? I mean, to be fair, PS5 can get 120, which is not bad at all for a console. Oh, bit wide. I love that you can actually, for a game of this caliber of age, I guess that's what you could call it, has a carbon weave on the actual hood there. Ugh. Bit of a tap on the rear. I want 250 FPS because I can. <laughs> I mean, they not... I'm going to be honest. Um, anything above 120, I can't notice too much. So when I'm playing at 165 compared to 120, I don't really notice it too much. So I prefer to limit my stuff at 120. So it uses a little less power. Wow. I mean, power doesn't really fucking matter at this point because that power supply is loud as fuck. But... 
I'd much rather limit it and not stress out my PC as much. I know it doesn't matter too much. It's not the end of the world, but still. If I'm not going to physically see the difference, I'm not going to overdo it. Yeah, you need at least that frame rate of whatever. But even then, I downgrade. Downgrade? No, that's not the word. I just set my um, refresh rate on my monitor to 120 hertz anyways when I'm locking games at 120. So that way I've got smooth as can be. Because sometimes I find that some games that run at higher... Like, if I was playing Siege and it was running at 200 frames a second, and I was on 165 hertz, it looked a little worse than if I just locked both the game and the monitor at 120, for example. 144 is a sweet spot. I don't... I know it's a sweet spot, but that went horribly. Um, it just doesn't seem to work as well. on some games like I don't know 120 just divides easily into 60 so when I'm playing games at 60 frames it just works it just seems a little less hassle than 144 if that makes sense just lock Forza Horizon at 60 frames a second and that way it runs with no frame drops whatsoever kind of thing <laughs> yeah I mean, I can do it as well. Since I might have a couple of frame drops because I don't have a powerful enough CPU. It's good for... The PC is good for what it's needed for, though. Playing some games at an okay resolution, streaming them, and then editing. It does a good job, and it does a fucking cracking job. But if this damn fan keeps going off... Oh, it's going to drive me crazy. Uh, I've got a um, Ryzen 5 3600. It's not an X model. So it can't be overclocked. I'm pretty sure that's what the X means. If not, then uh, shit. This is why I hate this track. It's so bad. Especially in this orientation. Going around this way. Going clockwise around the track is, is the worst. There we go. All right, here we go. We're uh, going around New York Circuit now. Love Lair. The Integra's off. Oh, we've absolutely bottled that start. A little bit of contact there. Speed is key. Wow, wow. By the way, if you haven't subscribed on YouTube, feel free to uh, hit the subscribe button. This is uh, also being streamed on Twitch. It's being recorded for YouTube, everything. So feel free to follow me on whatever you feel like. <laughs> Leave a like if you're over on YouTube. I don't even know what the equivalent of a like is on Twitch. I assume probably share the stream with your friends. If you're on Twitch. <laughs> uh, hey, my YouTube's not a shitbox. The cars on it are. The channel itself isn't. There we go. It's a cool track, actually. This track was actually in um, Gran Turismo 4 as well, pretty much at the same time. The only difference is Gran Turismo uh, Forza chose to go with the bottom part of New York from the main stretch. And um, Gran Turismo went with the top part. Ooh. Bit of a uh, wall tap there. Grid Legends got an update. Ooh, has it? I didn't even know that. I might have to have a look at that. Could be an update for uh, DLC, maybe? 
Actually, I'd be surprised if it was DLC. It's, um... Actually, no, I wouldn't. It's been about a month and a half since it came out. Could be. Could be DLC. I think it took about two months for Grid 2019 to release their first DLC. Or maybe three months. I'm not sure. There we go. Good finish there so far. 241. There you go, you got the Forza Motorsport at the top of the screen there. So much advertising on this one track, it's unreal. I'm pretty sure the advertising budget was all spent just on this one track. Solar Crown I'm excited for. Saints Row, mm, not so much. I played Saints Row... Um, two and four and i really wasn't sold by them so luffy what's up welcome how are you today welcome to the stream and welcome to the youtube video <laughs> best of both worlds ah shit not good we still got a uh, substantial lead anyway so we should be fine oh yeah we're doing a youtube video this should be, um, episode five. Ow. Fuck me, that was loud. <laughs> Luffy, thank you so much for the follow, my dude. Uh, oh, Lewis is here as well. We got Luffy here, we got Lewis. Uh, say hi to William from me then, I guess. <laughs> Following during a YouTube video, pure style. It is, it is. I don't think the alerts, um, or I hope the alerts don't go through on the video, because that's how I've set it up. But I've still said thank you to the, for the follow. Lewis, I'm not giving you a thank you. You've followed, like, seven times. <laughs> that's ridiculous. Great, so, Lewis, uh, thank you for the follow. You'll get that on a YouTube video. Get it, stay tuned for episode 5 of this series. Dick. <laughs> How on earth did you get away with that? You get away with so much shit. <laughs> yeah, it is probably more like 70, to be honest. 70 times that you followed. Which is 69 too many. Nice. Hey, there we go. Vizintegra. 6.6k. Oh, we're level 12 now. And new speed. We've got modified intercooler upgrades. 10% off. All right, so we're now moving on to the low power open. So we've got to pick ourselves a car that has uh, less than 200 horsepower. So... Um, in all honesty, I think the Subaru Impreza is probably the best option because it's got four-wheel drive. So we're going to go for that. Uh, I might put a couple of upgrades on just to push it up, but we're going to start off with Sukuba, then move to Rio, uh, and then Blue Mountains Raceway. Let's go. All right, here we go. So we're going around uh, Sukuba Circuit with the Subaru. Uh, majority of these cars are D1 or D2. We're uh, currently well ahead of that. We're um, C1. So we're basically an entire subcategory ahead. Got to go teach him how to play Valorant. Who the hell would want to know how to play Valorant? That's like the worst game to want to know how to play. Oh my god, I didn't realise that guy was so close. Man, I have to fight the urge to make you eat a Reaper Beam right now. Technically, I have the cash for it, but I already spent over a grand this week, so I really shouldn't, but... <laughs> I wouldn't say no. <laughs> I 
More than likely, if you did do it as well, it would be remembered in YouTube history, so. <laughs> No, cop. I got hiccups. That's a nice corner there. I like the last corner of Sakuba. And maybe next check I'll get off that bit badge. <laughs> Fair enough. It's also good that um that debt that your ex left you, you've paid it off. That's really good actually. Seven months early as well is pretty good. So uh, does that officially mean you're debt free now? Because if it does, that's mental. I won't be working two jobs anymore after May 5th. Hey, not bad. I think it's May the 7th I've actually got to start doing uh, commentary work again for late night racing. So very excited for that one. You are debt free. Well, that is, that is something. <laughs> well, that I can guarantee is a good feeling. Everybody wants to be dead and free. Poo. Ah. Ten grand paid off in a year. Not bad. Ah, oh, this Subaru's got some speed, man. Oh, I need to save this one for a thumbnail. Lovely, lovely. Got around that corner very nicely there. Yeah, you will have given me a grand's worth. <laughs> if you get the next bit badge, that is, that is a grand's worth. I have something special planned for that one as well. It's uh, the mega rich badge. It's gonna be. <laughs> there we go, we got six grand. Love Ledge or Blair? Okay, here we go. Rio. Why wouldn't you drain your bank account for something you could buy on your phone for pocket change? Because I can't, I, I don't have enough money to just drop shit on a stream deck. <laughs> Especially when a phone is multi-purpose as well. And I mean, uh, yeah, Stream Deck, you can do the same thing, but... That was sar- oh shit, yeah. <laughs> Newsflash, I'm shit with sarcasm. Ah, <laughs> uh, this corner is deadly. I ruined an entire endurance race because I went through that section incorrectly. Well, you get your ass back. I still can't believe this game came out in 2005. It's crazy. I think in May it actually turns 17. This game's 16 years old now, but it will be 17 in May. 
pretty cool actually. It's not a bad racing game for a game that came out in 2005. Like, it's still massively playable. But then again, racing games have always been quite a playable thing. Well, I think anything before the 2000s is probably unplayable. But it's like first-person shooters. They've only started becoming playable for me, like, 2010 onwards. Any time before that, they've been quite clunky and horrible and not ideal. So. Well, yeah, no shit, they're playable. I mean, like, easily playable, accessible and stuff like that. Like, you know, when you go onto a game like Forza Motorsport 7, you can pick it up and it, it just plays. It looks good and everything like that. It's easy. Not easy, but like... You can just do it. You can, you can play. I don't know how to explain it. I know what my mind's trying to say. <laughs> oh, that was way too close. I need to get out of the habit of doing that because it is going to kill me when it comes to doing endurance events. Because there's an endurance race on this track. I think it's for, like, R rating or something like that. So, not too bad, but really not somewhere I want to get too close to the edge and absolutely destroy my race. Not a chance. You got structure. You're going to believe ya. It's going to be action. You've got structure. You're gonna believe her. It's gonna be action. I love Pendulum. They make some of the best music out there in terms of drum and bass. 100%. I'm going to uh, finish this race off and then I'm going to grab a drink. Anyone in the stream. Anyone over on YouTube, you won't notice. Because I'll have edited it out. <laughs> nice. It's this corner as well. Because you don't realise... You can get way too close there and not realise. That's very nice. Um, oh, I probably should have saved that replay. I'll save the next one. Six grand. All right, we've got um, Blue Mountains Raceway now. Um, I've just been saying to uh, Twitch chat, we're trying to hit, hopefully, a 1,000 followers by the um, middle slash end of June. Somewhere around there. Probably the end of June. And we're also trying to hit an average of 10 viewers per stream by the end of the year. Which would be awesome to hear. But uh, I've also got a goal on YouTube to try and get to 3k by the end of the year. So, if you're watching this on YouTube, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. And share the video with your friends. We appreciate you. And we appreciate the help. Oh! Best followers, prime and viewers on my dot store. Remove the space. Cheers for that. Get the fuck out of my chat. <laughs> I love that bots just come into my chat and it's like, Hey, you want to buy followers? No. Get the fuck out. <laughs> I'm trying to like do this one-handed. This is such a bad idea. On a track that I hate with a passion. Told ya. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's up my ass. Wow, that was close. Hmm. 
Do you know one thing I do find really confusing, right? It's another comment about those bots. Why on earth do they keep coming into chats thinking that we're gonna fall for it? Like, 99.9% .9 of the Twitch community already will just block anyone who's like, buy followers, because we're all smart. Okay, so this fifth gear literally has no power whatsoever. Charming. I'm vibing here. Good bit of a pendulum going on. I left some white paint on that white barrier back there. Let's go. I do love how washed out the colors are in this game. I think the colors were all washed out in all the Forza games until like Forza 5. Maybe Forza 4. Forza 4 was all right. Forza 3 was a little bit washed out. It looks like, uh, the, uh, to be fair, it's probably the kind of vibe that they're looking for anyways. But it looks like this entire track has just been left in the sun. For way too long. You know when you leave an object on your windowsill and it like... The colour fades away from the middle. The edges still look a little bit brighter, but... Yeah, that's kind of what's going on here. Hit the wall a little bit there. Not ideal. See, I used to say Propane Night Nightmares from Pendulum was like the best Pendulum song. But I think Crush is now my new favorite. Like this used to be, this used to slap when it came on the radio. Because it wasn't quite like heavy drum and bass or like that weird drum and bass you used to get back in the 2000s. So radio stations would actually play this because this was classed as like pop music, dance music in the UK. It was like the drum and bass that made its way into mainstream media. And because it was featured in like so many video games and stuff like that at the time. We saw on Radio 1 this was like the only drum and bass song that was ever featured. It slapped. But man, I think it was also in a um, now that's what I call music album as well. There we go, six grand. All right, we are here looking at the hatchback challenge. Uh, this is open to cars with a hatchback body style, fairly self-explanatory, uh, and we're going to be looking at this one with the Wings West Civic. Uh, so this is like a custom tuner Civic, starting out. Charming. Starting out in Rio de Janeiro, moving on to Tokyo Circuit, and then Blue Mountains Raceway. Alright. Here we go. Rio de Janeiro. We got the, uh... The Honda Wings West Civic. Uh, this thing is apparently a C4. Majority of these cars are either D2 or D1. So, uh, we're most powerful on paper. Ooh! What was that? Yeah, V-Dub, you deserve that. Pain in the ass. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Very nice. 
This game was quite smooth, actually. It is very strange, though, that how they structure this game. They give you, like, slow cars, fairly quick ones, but they bring you back down throughout. I feel like that's a good structure for how this game actually does things. Because I bet you by the time we're at, like, episode 20, we're going to start in getting into the faster cars. I'm hoping in today's stream I can uh, finish off all the level 5 and the level 10 amateur events. I think in terms of videos, that will probably be, like, episode 8. We'll get, like, four episodes ready for today. I'll we'll just have to figure out which of these events is the shortest. And sort of piece it together with two other short ones. Otherwise, we might just end up with like a 50 minute video and then the rest of them being a bit less. Something like that. I don't know. We'll work it out afterwards. Because this is either episode 6 now or this is episode 5 still. More than likely, it'll probably be 6 and then I'll have this episode being quite long. Who knows? Oh, do you know what? After this, we're going to listen to some Prodigy. Do some good tunes. Oh, we are miles ahead. Let's go. Honestly, Liam Howler is one of the most talented DJs out there. Sorry, producers. He's not a DJ, technically. He's a producer. Oh! We've got Say Up Brandon over there. Bosch spark plugs? Sorry, did Bosch make spark plugs? What? This is news to my ears. What? When did Bosch make spark plugs? I thought they were kitchen appliance makers. I thought they made like washing machines and dishwashers and shit like that. Some car spark plugs. That's a. Uh, it's an interesting one. I probably should put my other headphone on because that fan noise is. Drive me round the bend. There we go. We got a 211 there. We're going to record that replay. Just because why not? Alright, here we go. Attempt number three. Uh, the soap I use has mint in it, so now my wrecking balls feel like Elsa was tossing my salad. Joe, you know what? Next time I use mint sham shampoo or mint body soap or whatever. I'm going to say it feels like Elsa's just tossed my salad. Right, get out of the way. I don't want this VW here. So it makes my hair. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I don't think my roommates would live me down if they saw me with my long sword ready for wage war. Man, that is such a great, great turn. Hi YouTube again, and I am Aaron, and I'm amazing. Yes, Aaron is amazing. He is in chat. <laughs> he is watching live on Twitch. 
And if you're hearing Aaron say hi, then you are watching on YouTube. You should come watch on Twitch as well. <laughs> Ow! The fuck was that? This guy's just smashed in the back of my car. That was not fair. Hey, we got some new people in chat. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Ooh, do, ooh, do. What you gonna do? Voodoo people, magic people, magic people, magic people, voodoo people. So close. Right, we got lap two to do this. Oh, he's he's. Oh, there is no way I just survived that. Oh, we're going up the inside. That was so sketchy. How I've pulled that off, I've got no clue. In all honesty, I've got no clue. I'm going to have to watch that back myself, to be honest. Because I do not believe I just did that. This guy's so close behind. I love how when I want to check my webcam on OBS, I have to sort of like start playing the game off my second display. It's kind of cool. Oh, we've got a two second lead. We should be fine. Yo, the golfers absolutely messed that one up. <laughs> what do sprinters eat before a race? Nothing, they fast. Oh my god. Such a bad dad joke. It's almost so bad it's funny. But it's not quite there, so it's not funny. <laughs> Well, you're lucky, Fallen. I managed to win this race, so that, um... Your story managed to stay into, uh, the YouTube video. <laughs> there we go. Man, that was crazy. Six grand. We're level 13 now, so we got modified weight reduction is 10% off. Smack my bitch up. This song's good. That's a good one, Aaron. I ordered a chicken and an egg from Amazon. I'll let you know. <laughs> Which one came first? Yeah, that's a good one. Not a bad race. That's not ideal. I don't like that the golf is that much quicker in the corners. It is that much quicker. corner of the car is slowing me down. Oh. We're the neck and neck. we neck and neck. Keep it going. I can see chat moving, but I can't focus on it. We're in a close battle. There we go. Do you think I would get booted out of my apartment if I ordered a rooster? 
Yes, probably. You wouldn't be late for work, but you... You would be late because you'd be sleeping on the floor. So you'd be tired. <laughs> Bitch up. A. <laughs> that one's a good one, Aaron. That is a good joke. We're sat at four live viewers at the moment, by the way, Twitch, which is pretty good. Pretty good. See if we can get that up to six. Let's see if we can get more people in the chat. Woohoo! Don't forget to share the stream out. in for YouTube now. Yes, I am. Good thing that I'm only recording the capture card audio, because otherwise I would have had that Windows disconnect noise in it as well. <laughs> Bidi -boo. But yeah, we're doing... Um... The thing is, I used to do a lot of YouTube back in 2018, 2019, and 2020. I did a crap ton, and I kind of got bored of YouTube towards the latter end of 2020 and that's when I started streaming again now I've sort of I've not gotten bored of streaming but it just feels a bit tedious and a bit more of a task and I'm not I don't know it's just the excitement isn't there as much if I haven't got an objective to do like I had with YouTube YouTube there was always an objective finish the series well now if I'm streaming and I'm recording it I want to have the incentive of chat while I'm recording to sort of keep the videos more interesting. But also I've got... Um, the excitement of actually finishing the series as well to actually keep me going and actually keep me playing this on Twitch as well. So it helps both parties, really. Seems like a no-brainer. There we go. 4.57. We got 5,900, so not bad. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.